But let me just run over a few of the headlines, and I'm going right to your calls, and I'm going to intersperse this news throughout the transmission. Police film dragging woman and babies during protest, CNN. We've got this linked up on Infowars.com. And what's chilling about this in France is they're beating up these African immigrants and dragging babies along the ground. And it go, the video goes on and on and on and on. And the CNN host says, well, this is what government has to do to maintain order. If they're going to deport the illegals, which they're not even doing, they're, they're getting rid of their shantytown, you sure don't need to drag babies along the ground. And what's done to immigrants is later done to other people. If you can get away with this with immigrants, and that's why I have protested at the FEMA camp in Taylor, where they hold entire, entire illegal alien families with their children, they send CPS in and uh, adopt some of their kids out. They're in there taking them for American families that want them. Most of the American families are compartmentalized and don't realize uh, what's going on and don't know where these Hispanic three- and four- and five-year-olds they're getting came from. And they really abuse their rights. I I'm against having open borders, but I'm also against abusing their rights. On top of it, Rex 84 from the 1986 congressional hearings with Oliver North and others, and the subsequent articles in the Houston Chronicle, Wall Street Journal in the last five years that we've covered in my films, say that these camps have the dual use for illegal alien families, but also for citizens, and they're preparing them during emergencies. So very, very serious. Well, that's just one of the stories. Uh, federal police officer shot dog at Park, Baltimore Sun, two dogs just got in a fight at a dog park, a husky and another dog, so the cop just shot them both. Completely crazy. It's like that video uh, in the same place uh, there in um, Baltimore, Maryland, where the guy is on his motorcycle with a mounted camera on his head. Motorcyclists do this a lot. It's a popular thing on online. And he videotaped himself doing a wheelie. The, a plainclothes cop pulls him over, almost runs him off the road, and jumps out with a gun. And the guy's got a camera, and he says, sir, I'm just, you know, he gives him a ticket. The guy puts it on YouTube, and they arrest him and charge him with felony, saying it was wiretapping. And, of course, even the mainstream media is saying it's not really illegal to film cops. It's illegal to sneak up to a cop or anybody else's house at midnight and film them in their underwear through the window watching television. Because there's a perception of privacy in your own home. You can't be prowling around doing that in people's homes or businesses. But if cops are out on the street beating people up and somebody videotapes them from 100 yards away, you can't charge them with wiretapping. You can't charge them with eavesdropping. But it just shows how they're naked body scanning us, but then saying that we can't videotape them.